What's up guys, uh, welcome to this video. Uh, this video is gonna be like a guitar tech nerd type video. If you're into that sort of thing, stick around. If you're not into that sort of thing, uh, don't stick around, I don't know. Um, but uh, we're gonna go through this rig that I built uh, with a, for a band that I'm with and uh, we're gonna get into it. Here we go. Okay, so here is like the rig right here. Um, on top here, we have a Rocktron All Access. Um, everything kind of just ends up here, um, but I'll get to that in a little bit, but it's really cool. It's a really cool device, but we'll get to that. Um, I got some tools and stuff here, and then coming all the way down here, um, we have two tuners, just kind of for redundancy. Um, the strobo rack is really cool, the Peterson tuner. I swear by this thing, I actually have two of them in this rig. One of them's kind of smaller, I'll show you that in a second. Um, but I use that, the smaller one, it's like a redundant. I use this as my main one, then this kind of just a backup tuner just to have some extra things. Um, we have a sound sculpture, a Switchblade GL, which is just really, really cool. It's really um, musical, basically what it is. It's a, uh, it's like a, it's like a patch bay. Um, that's 16 in and 16 outs. That's configurable however you want to configure it. Um, a lot of guitarists just use like a, a loop switcher, but th those goes are kind of limiting for what I needed it to do. So I went ahead and got a sound sculpture switchblade GL. Then we got a DI. Nothing too fancy there. Um, and then we have our, our our like our pedal system right here, our pedal board that's rack mounted. Rack mounted. Um, we have uh, a one um, delay here de dedicated for one song that the band actually plays. Um, and then we have our um, one act and just kind of throw in there for other songs and, and whatever. But this is this is really, really simple kind of pedal stuff, but it, it gets the job done, which is awesome. So, yeah. All right, working our way down here. This is all our wireless system, and I'll get into that here in a second as well. Um, only six channels of wireless. We, um, th with the band, we use a lot of different types of wireless um, systems. We have wireless in ears. Um, our violins are wireless. Our, guitar our guitars are wireless. Our uh, saxophones are wireless. We use a lot of wireless. But right now, for the guitars, this is every single guitar wireless that needs to be used is in this rack, so it's easy to use. Okay, so while we're down here, I wanted to mention how everything's wired up, how I, where everything's kind of run to. So everything first starts out with the wireless units down here and then it ends, go, ends up going to the sound sculpture, right into it. Um, from there, there's a lot of processing that happens. There's some MIDI work that happens in there. Um, so this is um, very crucial. This is like the heart and the brain of this entire rig, so it goes there. Once it goes here, it either will go into a, into a pedal. Um, our baritone signal goes right into this pedal. Um, and then from this pedal, it goes back into the sound sculpture. That's how we have it um, wired right now. Uh, if, I, if, if, he's, if we're gonna play a song that doesn't require this, I can actually turn it off from here um, and, and it'll bypass it completely, but we keep it on because uh, there's a few songs that are always on that um, delay pedal there. So once it hits here, it actually goes right into our DI. From our DI, it goes right out. We actually have a one U uh, rack mountable XLR output section that we have on the back of this that all, all the XLRs get plugged into that makes it just easy to, um, to plug into. So um, these uh, tuners actually aren't rigged into any of this. They aren't, they aren't uh, um, connected in at all. These are separate. So what I would do is I'll actually have um, an input that I'll plug into this one and that one and just switch back and forth to check my tuning. But that's that's uh, how everything down here is wired up. And in terms of the pedals, um, I wanted to keep it very traditional in terms of how this was wired up. So we have it kind of like a, a loop switch on some of these, and then some of these are um, just going right in and right out. Not, not much of a loop, so. Um, that, that's how this whole rig is wired up. And uh, let's, on the, let's head on to the top. All right, so here's like the top drawer, the first drawer of the rack. Um, you can see this section right here is empty because I have all the wireless um, transmitters out. Well, I'll show you here in a second. But right here is all like the kind of tech supplies. We have our, our flashlight, um, you know, snip, snipper tools to, to change out strings and whatever. Um, got, you know, sharpies, different things to kind of 
um, tech. I got some guitar picks and different things in there. Um, our vocal mics also sit in this rack. We have two of them. Just in case if one goes bad, I can switch them out pretty quick. You'll notice this little, like, n you know, bolt kind of thing sitting here. Basically, what this is, it's a, it's a quick release. So, um, we have one of these on his on our mic stands, and it, it goes in like this. So, if something goes wrong with the mic, all I have to do is, boom, and I can switch out the entire mic, you know, within seconds. So, that's, that's obviously very, very helpful. So, we're going to put that there. Second drawer um, is a little more crowded. Uh, we have some. We have only some of our um, uh, strings here. I do. I'm still doing some restock stuff, so um, just have some of our strings uh, here. Our cables for our wireless system. Some cleaners. Some extra um, utility stuff for the rig. More picks. This is that that P other other Peterson tuner Strobo one I used. This is very similar. It's almost identical to the one that's rack mounted. Just in this like Game Boy looking thing. Do you guys remember those Game Boys? Um, so, anyways, so, so that's what I keep in, in the drawers there. Um, very, very useful to have everything right there at easy. You know, I just come in here and grab what I need. It's easy to find, um, and so it's just easy to grab. Kind of, it's, you know, it's not really well organized. Organized enough so I know where everything is. Um, so let's go ahead and go to some of that wireless I was talking about and uh, do some wireless stuff. All right, so uh, right here we have our wireless uh, transmitters right here. These would, this, this actually sits on the guitar strap itself. I mean, then our cables go out of this into the guitar and then wirelessly gets fed to uh, the rack here. So I have six of these, one for each guitar. It just sits on the, the strap all night, ready to go. So if anything happens and you switch out a guitar fast or another song, I can just, kind of grab and go. So we have uh, six of those right here. Um, and then what happens is it depends on the venue and the setup that we're doing. Um, with the band, the stage can be bigger and smaller, so depending on that, it depends on what type of antennas I'm gonna use. Um, I have antennas, what are called paddles, um, or fins, um, that I, I use for smaller venues. And then we have this one that I have set up right here. Um, and this one's actually for like big venues. I use this for outdoor venues. It has a very big range. Um, of, of radio frequency RF that, that, that can, this can put out. So it's very easy. It's also what's called uh, bi-intennial. Is that, is that inten, inten, bi-intennial? I think that's the term. Um, uh, Ryan is saying nodding yes to that, so if I'm wrong, blame him. Um, but basically what that is, is this is two antennas in one. Instead of having to put two antennas up, I can put this and make it easier. It's a little bit of a cleaner look as well. Um, and then to make sure all that runs properly, we have this program here called Wireless Workbench 6. Um, right now, we only have one guitar showing, but I can have all six guitars show up on here. I can do uh, radio frequency coordination. I can change frequencies if something happens mid-show that I need to. I can go ahead and do that here. I can also watch the audio levels right here and making sure it all looks good in the battery. I don't have to go anywhere near that pack. Um, if uh, shit does hit the fan right here, this is kind of the saving grace that hopefully um, I don't have to use, but I, you know, it's there just if I need to. So um, let's go ahead and go through the all access and uh, let's do that. Okay, so right here is the Rocktron all access. Now I said everything kind of ends up here. Now what does that mean? Well, through the sound sculpture, there's a MIDI cable that runs out of that into here and I can do all the switches. So this is actually the um, the master right here, and then we have what's called the slave up on stage, which right now there's obviously no stage, so I'm setting this up as accurate to a, a venue or, or gig that I can. Um, okay, so right here I have all my buttons, all my different guitars, and some minor um, effect things up here. Um, so let's say we're playing a song, um, and the song just finished, he was using his, reg um, his regular guitar. I can switch it out real quick for the 12 string, um, either right before I go up, I can press this, it says 12 string, I hand him that, and he's ready to go. Or what I can do is, let's say the song just ended, he was using that one, I can hand him that, and right, if he wants to start the song right away, up on stage, I can hit the same button, because we have an identical one up on stage, and it will switch it as well. So, um, really, really helpful, so if he wants to start the song right away, I can do it from up there, or I can do it from side stage, where I normally am. Um, so this thing's really cool. It, it's completely configurable to what you need 
uh, what it needs to do. Um, so I have it set up the best way to suit this situation here. Um, and it's it's just awesome. I, I, love, I love using it. So. Okay, so one thing before we go is I want to mention how communication works. Um, during the show, we're, we're, we're pretty locked in, so we don't need to communicate to front of house really that much um, for me on side stage. But during setup, during sound check, we're communicating a lot, making sure the show's going to run smoothly. How do we do that? We don't want to yell a lot. We could, you know, damage our voice, and we, we kind of need that to, to do our jobs. So we have... Um, walkie talkies um, everyone has one this is mine this is the production manager and the guitar techs walkie so it's mine and during setup during sound check it's like the beginning of this video and I had this on my on my belt and then I have this walkie talkie um, remote here on my shirt like this this is how it's normally when I set up so if something happens or if I need to get in contact with the, with the manager at the venue or front of house guy or a lighting guy I can talk to them right right through here um, and then during the show, I don't need to really talk to people that much unless it's like a true emergency or something that needs that needs fixing or something. So I actually will take this off right before the show and I'll put it right on the side of my rig here that fits perfectly. And so in case if something happens and, and I really do need to, I can grab this, talk to them and put it back and where um, I don't need anything on me because while um, the show's happening, I have in ears in. I'm trying to listen to the band. I'm talking to the band sometimes because we have a talkback system that runs throughout the entire band. Um, so uh, I'm very busy throughout a show. Um, I'm constantly watching um, the lead singer and watching the um, the drummer because I'm mixing the, the lead singer's monitors, but the drummer's kind of music directing a little bit, so I have to make sure I don't know when the song's going to start. So there's a lot that kind of goes on side stage, even if I'm not changing a guitar string or, you know, uh, switching out guitars or doing something audio or guitar tech wise. I'm, I'm managing the show. I'm making sure the show runs smoothly. So um, there's a lot that happens on the other on this side of this rig, um, as well as the other side on stage. So um, yeah, that's the rig rundown. If you guys want to see anything, if I completely skipped anything, um, leave it in the comments down below, um, and I'll you know maybe even make another video um, that's a little more uh, in depth or technically advanced than, than this one. So, um, thank you guys for watching and uh, yeah, so, but yeah. I don't like being on my own I could use someone to hold And I've been trying to fill the void But my bed is getting cold Cause I don't have you